I'm Bjarne Mastenbroek, an architect based in Amsterdam. I've worked on a decade-long research together with Ivan Baan that is now into a book called Dig It, Building Bound to the Ground. The ground is often used as a passive foundation. I think it's really interesting to dig deeper into the possibilities of buildings that merge with their landscape and with site. So we sifted through the history of architecture and we looked at examples of where there is a much stronger connection of building and landscape. When Bjarne approached me with the subject of this book, I was immediately interested. So over the last decade, I've looked at many of these places all around the world during my existing travels. And one of these incredible places is, for instance, here La Libela, where you have these uh, churches which are a thousand years old, uh, but they're not built up, but they're carved out outside a mountain. And it's a kind of negative architecture almost. We're looking here at uh, the Frey House in Palm Springs. It's like the most lightweight architecture in a way. Like, but then the whole building is basically this incredible rock which anchors the building really to the location, to the site. My name is Ivan Baan, I'm a photographer and my commissioned work usually brings me around the world for architects documenting their newest built projects. Yeah, the interesting thing with uh, uh, collaborating with Ivan Baan is that he also looks at a building much more as a background for daily life. Whereas we looked at buildings as being an extension of the crust of the earth. So it's not the building as an isolated object, but it's more how it is linked to the globe and how it is linked to people. We were also amazed by the fact that many of these historical examples were not documented. So we think it's extremely important to document them, to draw them. We sort of found out that the evolution of architecture is also an evolution of moving away from nature. And then 1964 is almost the pivotal moment where buildings were at its most clinical, at its most drifted away from nature. And since then there is sort of a, a, a reconnecting of it. I hope with this book and the rich uh, visual material we created here gives an understanding of how we can do more with less material, with less impact on the environment, uh, with less impact on a site. We really hope that DIGIT also helps architects in their future work to understand how you can use the crust of the earth, landscape, nature, uh, to reconnect again with architecture. So if this book can help us to work out strategies where this reconnecting is successful, uh, then I'm very happy.